My name is Mike Archer, and as of a few days ago, I've been fire watching from my tower in the Wyoming woods. What I thought would be an easy five months to myself to help me focus on my writing has actually turned into something completely different. I've heard some strange things in the woods and over my radio, including creepy whispers and classical music. Are you sure you weren't dreaming? That's Amber. She's in Tower 3. I'm in Tower 4. She relays all my information to the ranger station since I'm too far out. She's a nice person, but she doesn't believe the things that I've heard. I wasn't dreaming, Amber. Well, I didn't hear anything last night. I slept like a toddler after a sugar crash. Well, something strange is happening out here. Like what? I don't know. Tower 4 is a new series by Seven Land Productions. This thriller follows a new fire watcher as he tries to uncover the mysteries of the Wyoming woods. But are there actually strange occurrences, or is he starting to go stir-crazy? Visit sevenlam.com or search for Tower 4 wherever you listen to podcasts. Welcome back, guys. We are back with another, another. solid hour of fun. Hour 14, baby. <laughs> hour 14, 7 a.m. Go. <laughs> Only 11 hours left because technically yeah. this is the, the sun is up. Hour. The sun is up. So, Fuck, is it? Yeah, man. Yeah. I think like in the 8 o'clock hour, well, I'm, I'm going to go the for a walk. At some, so, well, I'm going to wait until I the thought about hour. it. I got to like halfway through the drive through and was like, go for a walk, man. I, I was like, you guys I might would have worry. to go for a Everyone walk. Everyone would worry. <laughs> Where's Jack? Where'd he go? And then right. you're, you're just like asleep on the sidewalk right. out there. If you want to drive the Hardys, I can hold down the fort. No, I, I don't just think want to go either of us should be driving <laughs> yeah, anywhere. Yeah, yeah, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to, I'm just hopped up on a lot of coffee and Red Bull right now. Yep, so, uh, yep, yep. I'm, Sounds I, very good for you. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. very Trust healthy. me, we know. I'm going to drink water and it's going to be like, oh God. Like your body's like, the what purge. is this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, it needs more caffeine and sugar, yeah. please. Yeah. <laughs> All right, before we get into it, I want to introduce... Uh, our guest. Are you going to ask the first question, Brett? Yes. Okay. What's Actually, the first? no. Before I ask the first question, I would like to introduce our other guest. Oh, there Christina. you go. Christina. Hello. Hi, I'm Brett. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Who are you? I'm Christina. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Wow. And that's it for that hour. That, uh, Solid Guys, hours. we'll catch you Whoa. at 8 o'clock. <laughs> she didn't even get to answer the question, aside from Christina. I thought so, those were the questions you were going to ask. What, yeah, uh, so uh, so you're, you you're, you're part of this uh, Seven Land Podcast family, am, apparently. Yes. Yeah. Tell us more about your your career with Seven Land Podcast. Uh, I I played Georgia Peach Basket <laughs> yeah, in, in um, Cop Doctors. <laughs> it's a very very George. serious role <laughs> for sure. Yeah, 100%. I haven't listened to Cop Doctors yet, which I'm, I'm here I'm, with I'm Case and Time. Very dramatic role. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're only on Cop Doctors. Oscar worthy. Uh, no, I, I played very minor roles in what was it? Uh, I was a mom in uh, you Paralyzed. Were. Yep. Wait, well, it's one of them. I think, uh, let me think. You played a mom in movie night, I think. You were okay. like, had one line. Yeah. But you played a mom were in Were you the mom that was upset with me in movie night? <laughs> yes. There you go. Yeah. Can, can, yeah. You do, can you do the mom voice? I don't even remember what it was. <laughs> Perfect. That's it. Great. That's it. Nice. It's uncanny. Uncanny. Solid. Oh my God. It's like the mom was right here yeah. with the mom. Us. Mom, is that you? <laughs> Have you done an episode of Robert and How do you friend? say mom and I yes. did. We did she do did that. She did do an episode of Robert and I friend. love Robert and her friend. Yeah. That's yeah. just where we literally just <laughs> we, talk uh, about we, stuff. We talked about cars and religion and the religion of cars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And I think that was it. <laughs> we talked about one other Is that thing. a Patreon exclusive? Yes. The, uh, Robert and her friend? Yeah. Patreon exclusive. I don't know what tier it is. It might be four what lamb. What lamb is it? It's a, probably a four lamb. It's what not, it's not lamb. an what it's, lamb. It's not an ultimate lamb. You don't have it's to not, donate no. all ten dollars, no, but no, it's no. definitely like probably like a four lamb. I'm so yes. interested. What are the what are the tiers of lambs? Well, there's, there's seven a, there's lambs. A, yeah, there's obviously. A, <laughs> I, I guess I'll say this very this very detailed <laughs> lamb list. It goes lamb. Yeah. There's one lamb, two lamb, three lamb, four lamb, five lamb, six lamb, seven ultimate. lamb. You have, to say, yeah. lamb. No, you have to say lamb the right way. <laughs> lamb. Thank you. Lom. <laughs> I was trying to make it like a rhyme, like I'm Dr. Seuss over here, but I, I ran out of words that rhyme with rhyme lamb. <laughs> lamb with lamb seven <laughs> times. Like it uh, work. I think you can. <laughs> I've heard enough uh, uh, haikus. I think you can rhyme the same thing. I believe you. Yeah. Thank you. You know what? <laughs> you don't say that enough, Jack. It's because I don't believe <laughs> you often. <laughs> yeah. Damn. That hurts, man. 
Oh, Listen. Blackberry. Well, let's get Ramble Lamb. <laughs> let's, let's, <laughs> uh, let's ask Christina some questions. Where yeah. were you the night of the 18th? 19th? <laughs> yeah. That yeah. was last night. That was well, last she's night. already checked yeah. her watch. That, well, she's ready to get the fuck night. out of here. <laughs> she checked the... Uh, last says, night. It says Alibi app. It says Random Alibi app. What oh, is man, that? Oh, man, no. Yesterday, I woke up at... 3.30 in the morning to go to work. So oh, was, yeah, you worked at 5, right? Yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> Ooh, that sucks. What do, you, but, what do you do to wake up at 3.30 in the morning for um, work? I picked up a shift for somebody, so I went to work at 5 a.m. Like, I was clocking in at 5 a.m. What do you do at 5 a.m.? I she sell works. Degenerates poker chips. Yeah, she works I, with me. I, I, take the money, oh my. I give the chips. Yeah. That's, that's wow. my whole job. And you have to be there at 5 a.m.? Because People they're are 24 hours at on 5 Friday and Saturday, yeah. Bro, these people have problems. <laughs> yeah, yeah, major, major problems. Yeah, I'm drinking a beer at 8 a.m. But so I mean, <laughs> you know about problems. <laughs> you've already you've already invested your chips. Yeah, yeah. Clearly. Uh, so yeah, you had to work five. Wait, you worked five to so what? Three? Like twelve. Oh, 12. Okay. I went. I left work. I got a burrito. It was pretty solid. Solid. What solid burrito. burrito or solid work? <laughs> solid both. <laughs> both. Yeah, the burrito was good. It's a solid. Yeah. I thought you meant it was like hard. You didn't warm it up enough or something. Well, I got it fresh. Oh. oh. Wait, from, from where? Just from Moe's. Okay. okay. It was up the road. We I think we talked Chipotle. about Moe's before, though. Yeah, we talked extensively about Did Chipotle. Did they welcome yeah, you when you walked in the door? Bro, I worked at Moe's for like four years, and I still have like nightmares. Welcome Wait, to Moe's! Like, no. <laughs> you can You can actually hear like the disdain in the, and I've been to Moe's in probably 10 years. But when I walked in, I was like, welcome to Moe's. I'm like, oh, these guys don't give a shit. No. Yeah, they don't care. They, no. just, they have to do it. On like days where like. That's idiotic. Mm-hmm. On some days, you're just like, you come into work and you're high and you're like, yeah, Moe's. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I any, gather any this is explicit fake... because I heard you say fuck already. So I'm just going to roll with no, it. No, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Only I can say yeah, that. Yeah, this is PJ. This is PJ. Only you can say fuck. Only I can say fuck. fuck. Yeah. But you guys can't say fuck. I do not follow you that. You get one fuck. You guys are PG 13. You get one fuck. Yeah. Use it wisely. He already used it. You're done. How many fucks do we get? No. no. Now he's <laughs> rated R. It is. Now he's I rated R. How many times did I say fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ready? You get one. Okay, PG-13. Well, the YouTubes are going to be coming down to get us. <laughs> yep. No more cursing on this podcast. I'm going to do it. I'll allow it. Anyways. Oh, okay. So let's find out. I want to ask this one. Okay. Ask all Here of them. Here we go. I'll ask. I'm going to see if I can remember them. Okay. What's uh, a color? These are all things that like describe you as a person. How, you guys are just going to show like how basic I am, aren't you? No, 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 <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. That's the whole no, point. We'll don't, don't answer basic. Yeah. you got What this. do you think we're doing here? What's your, we're exposing soul. people. Yeah, we're finding out. <laughs> we're finding out. Oof. We'll see, we'll see who you really are. Yeah, just tell um, us your answers. We really right. don't care. He's what gonna write. They are. Up, he's gonna write them down <laughs> and then judge you and draw a picture of what he thinks like your life should I'm be not like. A good drawer, so this is I'm, gonna be I'm very excited to see this picture either. though. Before, All right, I'm before, in. Yeah, but before you answer these questions, Jack actually gave me great guidance in the last episode. Yeah, which was an hour ago. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and he said like, uh, it doesn't matter. Just you're, you're gonna change. Your mind. Yeah, you're, so, okay. it doesn't have to. It's you more don't about being spontaneous, much. right? right I'm in. So, so um, be spontaneous. Don't be basic. What? What's a color? Like a color? What's a color? What's a color? Name one color. <laughs> no, I just I've always wondered. Yeah. You guys always say like, what's your favorite color? You just say like, it's, what's a color? What's Everything your favorite? Is enough. Because it's not necessarily your favorite, but you can go favorite. Yeah. But a color that describes you, like that, that is you. I really like gray. Oh, that's horseshit. Gray. Yeah. No. <laughs> There's so many grays. No it's one's such picked a broad gray, color. Like, no one's picked gray. I love gray. Gray is my favorite And actually, color. Th- three of you, all four of us are wearing kind of a gray. Sure. Yeah. yeah see? Fucking point made. Nice. That oh. was your point when you walked in. You're <laughs> like, I'm going to make my point about this gray color. Finally, I'm finally going to start opening people's eyes about the color finally. gray. Finally. Honey, I'm on this podcast. I can get my point across. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> Tens of people will hear it. <laughs> Honey, do you think you're going to talk about the gray today? <laughs> yeah. I think so, honey. I think, this I think is the now one. Is the time. This is the day. I've been saving this up for years. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I have a platform to get it out. Yeah, now it's, now it's <laughs> the t- Brucey's time to shine, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now month, a month. These are all one you month used to describe yourself. The yeah, question describe. is month, month. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it could be your favorite month, but like a month that like you like. August. What is month? Why August? Because it's hot as fuck. 
You'd like that? Yes. Okay. Okay. I, I've lived and baked under the Florida sun for so long. And I am like crazy you, Florida person. Okay. Yep. All right. Animal. <laughs> to describe you. To describe me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like how we have to like reiterate it for everyone. Like yeah. every time. Because yeah, yeah, we yeah. were like, hmm. And then we're like. Animal. He uh, just said I mean, animal. Yeah. I don't know. I'm putting so much thought well, in this. With all respect, like, you're asking one word questions. I, I want to say. Yeah, so but long. we have to specify to describe Because some people are like favorite. Which is fine. But also we want to see if you can get one that describes you. I right. want to say sloth. Because if I could, I would be so lazy. I would grow algae too. You're actually the second person. You would to be say the sloth. second person to say sloth. Because yeah. I'm basic. No, well, it's it's a very yeah. I don't know how many, how many people have you had here today. Who who <laughs> else said know. sloth? A lot. It's actually been more than we thought we. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's been a lot so, more so how many people we said cats or dogs? Only uh, one person only said one cat. Person said cat. And yeah, one okay. person said a uh, uh, bulldog. Yep. Somebody else did say a different but type like of dog. English no, the the yeah. Yeah, like no English Jenny bulldog. said a certain dog like a uh, um oh uh, yeah uh, something uh, doodle yeah some doodle. Labrador? I don't. No, I don't think. Shadoodle. I don't think sloth. Shadoodle. I don't think sloth is is a very uh, basic answer. I don't think it is, unless you're in South but, America. But I, but I will say this. I think it's a it's a female answer. Yep. Because females work their fucking asses off, and all they want to do is they just want to relax and chill. <sighs> also, I think I think fe- like Kristen I have a wife, Bell, so I don't know if that means anything. But <laughs> Kristen Bell, she cried when she got to see yeah, sloth she did. for the first Bro, time. Yep. I would probably cry too. I'm not even a lie. It would be tears of joy. Is it a three toed sloth or a two toed sloth? Well, I mean, two. Okay. Okay. Checks out. All right. So that's solid. <laughs> <laughs> write, write that down, Jack. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then let's do a uh, food. Food. That describes you. That describes you. <laughs> You're doing a bang up job, Rob. I, I have to say that every time I, I, I entered with that. That was my okay. at the top. Yeah, I, the thing about it is like people that you're interviewing, they don't know what the question is. The people listening might know. Well, here's the thing. It's seven no, I I said that at the very I said I'm gonna ask you five things that describe you as a person. Okay, but you've said that like six times. Okay, okay. so <laughs> You know what? It's 7 a.m. Yeah. Rob's you kicking us out. Cut us some slack. <laughs> I'm, and by I'm us, I mean me. <laughs> we're, we're, at, we're at 11 hours. How long have you been here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 20 solid minutes. <laughs> Tough minutes. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I like so many foods. But like if if you order a food and then somebody's like, that's, that's a Christina food. Yeah. It's, it's Mexican food. I knew that. All Mexican. shapes yeah. and varieties. So like a burrito. You got a burrito. I love burritos. So maybe a burrito? But I like enchiladas. I like tacos. I you like have to pick postadas. one. Hey Jack, give her the pep talk. Yeah, he picked Chinese food, and that didn't fly. Yeah, for sure. He had to pick one. If yeah. I have to pick one, yeah, Mexican. <laughs> That's what she's trying to do, but it, we're we're not letting it fly. Al pastor tacos. It's pork. It's pineapple. It's so good. Okay. Nice. Okay. It's good. Last one. Movie. Yeah. It's this is always the hard one. See, this is the thing. Yeah. Like, do don't forget mean, song. Like, that's the one I always try to slip in there my, because Jack hates it so much. <laughs> my my current favorite movie or like my all time favorite movie? A movie that describes you. <laughs> that if you you were to say, what do you like? You know, go yeah. watch this movie, and they'd be like, oh, that is such a Christina pick. <laughs> I don't know. That's just what they always say. A lot of dead air. I'm thinking so hard. I'm pretty sure people are like, did the podcast end? (laughs) Everybody went and tapped their phone and be like, is it done? (laughs) Um, Oh, God, I don't know. We'll play Rampage after this. There you go. There you go. Is it Rampage the movie? No. With Dwayne the Rock. (laughs) No, I know. Yeah. No, I'm saying it could be her movie, though, with The Rock. Oh, man. I don't know. Can I? Okay. Can, so I, I want to ask you a question. Okay. Huh. Um, well, first, like, do you like movies? I do. Okay. Is there like a movie that you just put on for background noise or to go to sleep to? See, that I usually go with like I go for shows. 
Fair enough. So okay. the show that I fall asleep to every night is Bob's Burgers. We didn't ask about shows. Good, no, good, good. I don't, shows I don't specifically. No, definitely, definitely said movies. So, yeah, but yeah. is there is there cannot get is there a movie yeah. that yeah. you I mean, find shit. if we said pick Awful. a movie and she's like oh and then she's like oh watched, here's a show I that I watched it's like okay cool yeah that's uh that's not what we did we didn't say Broadway shut up for a second okay so is there is there a movie is there a movie that uh you find comfort in oh man okay like if it's so on tv and you're just like oh, i'm gonna watch this now all right this is where the real basic bitch comes out i'm okay. gonna say the notebook okay, okay. that's it's not that, bad no one no one calling yourself basic no oh, one man, said the notebook so yet no, nobody so said the basic. nobody yeah. said the notebook yet. yeah but it's just that movie like i'll put it on and every time like i put that movie on when i'm like i need to cry i am so pissed off i just need to cry and get it out Right. See, and but I that's not basic. Notebook. That's like a really cool thing. Like you have an emotional attachment to that movie. Yeah. I've never seen it. You're gonna cry. I I, 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 I watched will. it. <laughs> Actually, I watched the movie because Jenny, who called in earlier, she was like, "You gotta watch it." She let me borrow it, and I watched it, and I was like, "I didn't have to watch it." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was fine. Why? Because you don't like crying. What no, do I, you want? It was all right. <laughs> yeah. What do you? I love like that's, that's the, the best question. It's like the gift for like when yeah. you try to ask your girlfriend what she wants to eat. Like, tell me what you want. Yeah. And she's just like, no. It's not that <laughs> simple. <laughs> what do you want? Yeah. That is the best part of that. It okay, is so I got to watch movie. The Notebook. It's a good movie. It is I mean, good. watch it. Watch if you're it. a bird, I'm a bird. It's a good is that movie. a thing for me? Yes. Yeah. Isn't it about like yeah. Alzheimer's or whatever? Or? I mean, I mean they, get, they, get old. they get old. They get old. They develop it over time. A but in the beginning, they're right like, after yeah. the aliens get there, yeah, yeah. I mean, explosions. James Garner's in it. There better be aliens. James, yeah. <laughs> or, well, James, or, James Garner's or, the old guy, or older, a gunfight, older oh, okay. version. <laughs> of the, yeah, he's the old guy. Main character. I mean, he's the old guy. So, <laughs> so I haven't seen the movie. I even know that James Garner's in it. Okay, yeah, so you guys, that's how cool I am. I always love like all the Nicholas Sparks movies, like the posters, like Mark. Who does movies, films, and flicks? One of his things one time was to look up all the posters for uh, Nicholas Sparks, and then he made like who's the, Nicholas Sparks? Nicholas Sparks is the director of The Notebook, but oh, he also did like the last song. He did uh, like young adult novels of like romance, like and stuff. all these like like Knights in Rodante, like all these like romantic films. But like Mark went through like how to make the best Nicholas Sparks movie, and it's like you have to have a poster with both people looking at each other. In, in the, the rain. rain, yeah, in the rain, <laughs> and then it's got to be like a blue poster or like a light red one or something like that, and then it's got to have war in it. At one point, there's get someone either goes off to war yeah. or has a war story, and like they're just like little I ingredients. I don't think the kids with cystic fibrosis went to war though. And when uh, the fault in our stars? That's not Nicholas Sparks. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Is it not? It's not. I want to fact check you, but I'm, I'm 100% you it's because- not because it was a trivia question one time and I got it wrong. <laughs> so, so it's not. Okay, okay. Uh, song? The last song was, was that Miley Cyrus? I don't fucking know. And then the one with Zac Efron was, I don't remember what that was called, like the last cowboy. So it's like the tapes? last of something. No, he no, was wasn't the, that. Was no, he the rhinestone not. cowboy? No. No. That was John no. Travolta. <laughs> okay. He was an urban cowboy. John Travolta was an urban cowboy. R.I.P. Kelly Preston. Okay, that but. That is true. That's sad. I've been thinking about my songs because they said okay. that was the next question. Yeah, I'm all right, what's your ready. what's your favorite song? <laughs> uh, she Jack doesn't song. give a fuck anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm yeah. checking out. Yeah. Checking he out. looks so checked out right now. It's like fuck the song. <laughs> all right, but it's a two parter. Okay, I got two. So it's a two parter because you have two songs. I have two songs. Okay. <laughs> I, you didn't have to say the two parter thing. You just say I choose songs. Say two but I didn't want to say one and be like, "All right, well, moving on." Oh, I was gonna cut right in there. I know just you were. cut you off. No, go ahead. Let's hear these um, two. Okay, so the gold cover or the gold finger cover of Ninety Nine Red Balloons. Okay. And Sinead O'Connor. Nothing compares to you. Oh, I do like that. That song. is such a good song. Written by Prince. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. But yeah. you know, the bald bitch holds it down. She does. I I love that mm-hmm. rendition of it. That's awesome. my new well, I don't. Did, did, <laughs> the the so, bald bitch so so holds hold it down. <laughs> did, did Prince actually like release that song? Or I think he did do a, a version of the song, but he, he. I don't know if it was after she already recorded it, but he I, wrote it first. I did not know that both of my songs were covers. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Surprise. Mm. That's all right. You ever like uh, Chris? Chris covers. Cornell did a pretty good version of "Nothing Compares to You." Did he? Yeah. I never heard Is that. Is that the guy from Creed? No, it's no. the guy of Soundgarden. Oh, how dare oh, you? How dare yeah. you? I don't, 
<laughs> With arms wide open. <laughs> I'm gonna say something rude the wrong way. Sorry. The wrong the wrong guy died. Uh, yeah. Uh, Chris, I'm, I'm sorry, Chris man. Cornell. Right. Wait, he was like 50 something. What was right? his name? Like Scott Stapleton or no, of Creed? It's, um, Scott. It starts with an S. He's a Scott. Yeah. And like, I mean, I, the last time I heard about this guy, he was fucking in a hotel room saying how he blew all his fucking money. I'm like, dude, you you said you were a Christian and yeah. you fucked up. That was yeah. his big deal. Is he was a yeah, he was a Christian. Christian he was artist. a Christian and he's still fucked up. He managed yeah. to fuck up. Well, Chris Cornell was like, yeah, I'm the lead man of Soundgarden and I... And he sang Casino Royale's James Bond theme. Did he really? Yeah. Chris Cornell? Yeah. Uh, you know, you know, you know, you know my name. 007 you know my trivia. name by Chris Cornell. No shit. Yeah. That's uh, yeah. we should not. Thank have, you we, very we much. We should not have lost Chris Cornell. Yeah. He was, he had to be in his fifties, right? Was he it was, the early fifties. Was it a self-inflicted? Or maybe thing? later fifties. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. It was, it was a, it was a, it was a drug Pills, overdose, right? suicide. Pills, he was in Detroit. Yeah. Um, like, I mean, talk to his wife and all that kind of stuff, but like, come on, man. Like, that sucks. if you're going to fucking die, you should have died in your fucking twenties. Like you, 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 27, you, you reach, you reach the, you reach the whole That's point the of thing. like yep. the, the, the nineties are but not he was about, still going. He was still, he was going. still going. He yeah. is, dude, he has a, he had a fucking family. It's like, come on, man. Just like be the, be the old rocker. Yeah. Play, play, be Chris Cornell he, he, sings the hits then, of Soundgarden. Uh, then when the you're guy from 80. Lincoln Park killed himself because Chester. he was upset that Chris Cornell had killed himself. It was like right after, right? Yeah. It was soon uh, yeah, after. And, and the, odd, Chester, the odd thing, the odd Benning, thing about Benningham that. Yeah. Benning yeah. So they, yeah. Lincoln Park died. Uh, uh, Lincoln Park. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Park. Sorry. Not, not, <laughs> well, did not you Lincoln see that anybody Park, else yeah. do no, anything I, since? No, of course not. But there was something like really weird about. What was the lead singer of Lincoln Park? What was his name? Chester, Chester Bennington. Chester Bennington. Bennington. That's it. Didn't he also front uh, Stone Temple Pilots? Uh, did he? For no. a, a, a brief period of time, I think no, he did. I don't huh? think so. Did he? Oh, you like maybe on tour. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't put any albums yeah. out or anything like that. I don't think that. so. But the fact that the fact that Scott Whalen died in 2015 and Chester died. Scott died. Whalen is who? That's Stone Temple Pilots? Stone Temple Pilots, yeah. yeah. Oh. But the fact, that, the fact that the fact that he died in 2015 by a right. drug overdose, and I don't think that was suicide. I think that I think he was a junkie. Was actual, yeah. But the fact that Chester fucking also fronted several SCP years later, two years later, yeah. Like I mean, SCP just is almost like a curse to be like their lead do, singer. Hey, do you want to front that? Yeah, man? Don't, like, nope. No, thanks. <laughs> no, I'm not into drugs. No, I'm pretty happy right now <laughs> with my life. <laughs> like I don't want to go down that road. Makes sense. For uh, sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah. No, too, too young. 27 is that, that rocker age though. That like, well, it, I mean, it's, it's just a, a, I mean, I know it was a big thing for what Hendrix, Hendrix Joplin, Joplin, Cobain and Winehouse. Amy Winehouse. Yeah. Mama oh, oh, Winehouse was one too. Winehouse is part <laughs> yeah, 27. Ham sandwich. Yeah. I, so shit. I remember when I was working at Moe's at 27 years old, they came out with a shirt that was the 27 Club, and I was like, I don't like wearing this. I am 27. This makes me feel like I'm gonna die. That's like weird to like promote too. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. There's people who died. It had like all their names, the same, and I'm like, yeah. why are all these people on here? And then I googled it, and I was just like, up as the Grim oh. Reaper. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, you know, what's, you know, what's weird about promoting it? Buying the shirt. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't know if I would wear that shirt. No, that'd be. It's well, like too I, much. I had to work and I didn't want to do it. In right. No, no, no. Uh, we're not blaming you. Know. you. No, I was. It's like, that's like <laughs> yeah, I, I was. That's How a, dare you wear that shirt that they told you you had to wear? That's a dumb fucking sure. corporate call. I fucking hate corporate. You know that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't no. get me started. Don't want to go down that road. That's right. You don't have to deal with corporate anymore. Jack, do you work in corporate? I do. You want to you want to bitch about that for an hour? Because I know <laughs> because go. he's no. he's still working for corporate. Well, you know it's it is what it is, man. Yeah, I've worked blue collar. I've worked white collar stuff. Right now, I'm a, actually a manager at a bank, and you know it, it is what it is. It's it's not as easy as it sounds. It does suck, and having corporate policies and all that. Would I rather work for myself? Absolutely. Would I rather do what I want to do? Who wouldn't? 
Yeah. But at the same time, I've worked my ass off in corporate to get where I am. I, um, I've climbed the ladder. You know what I mean? The corporate Being one. somebody who has a long beard and tattoos, it's not easy in a world full of old money and people who have gotten there off of their connections of who they know. So sure. I, I hate the, uh, I hate the corporate world, but at the same time, me sitting in the manager's chair when they say, I need to speak to the supervisor is a big uh, F yeah. you to, to <laughs> all like, that business. You must get uh, like fantastic Karens at the bank. Fantastic. Actually, oh. you know, believe it or not, I don't get a lot of people that want to come in and sit and complain to me. That's, That's good. good. Because I, I tell people how it is. You know what I mean? If you mismanage your money, that's on you. It's not on me. I honestly, I, I, I want to guess the bank. You welcome Jeez. to go right ahead. Yeah, but you're not gonna say it, right? I'll, I'll confirm it. I'll give oh, it. okay. Confirm or deny? Yeah. Confirm. Yeah, your name. Mm. You get. You get. Hold on. Stop. You get three guesses. There you go. I'll give you three. three. Can, can I ask questions? No. Sure. Is it? Sure. A, is it a? Is it a big uh, national bank? You get three questions. Uh, what do you consider that? I mean. Does it have American? So in the name? technically, <laughs> yeah. So technically, that's, uh, yeah. That's I'll, I'll, I'll take that question. Does it have America in the game? In the name, in, in the, the name, name. In, the game, in the game, in the game. No, it definitely has America it in the game. Yeah. It does not. Okay, that's but one question. Nationals considered if you're in more than three states, and we are three states national. Really? Yeah. So you could be in like the Florida, Georgia, Alabama, like just. Yeah. Just t- are, you, are, you, are, you all, are you in all fifty Everywhere. states? No. Achieva. That's a credit union. Wells Fargo. Ooh. So, <laughs> oh, you I did get work guesses for them too. Before. <laughs> wow. I'm just, you know, I yeah, did I, work I, for them. I, I, They're I, fantastic people. I want to say Wells Fargo, but no. Okay. Um, That's two. That then, That's two guesses. Okay. So you get. You, get, I will, you still get two more the, questions. Yeah. Yeah. You have other questions. Yeah. Jesus. Then I, I don't. I don't know my banks. <laughs> you know, I've always said that about it's you. Not, it's, not it's not that you don't Sun know trust. your bank. Are you sure you want to do? Oh, uh, <laughs> I was going to try to say final answer, but but no, he was adamant Suntrust. about it. So, <laughs> nice. is it regions? Nope. Oh. Nope. I'm just trying to think of banks now. The joke is Jack doesn't work at a bank. No, <laughs> it's, it's a credit union. You're just going to let you I guys work keep at a guessing. Bank, but I'm actually their marketing manager, and what I mean by that is I spin the sign out of the. <laughs> <laughs> but you know you get a nasty wind you try to go for a flipper dude you don't want to hold on too yeah. hard to that sign because you'll go with it yep picks you up you know it is what it is it is what it is that's that's you, actually the bank he works for that's their motto no matter where you go that's true people are so fucking stupid as a general populace that they're really morons yep uh, i'll give that. you a story an example we recently had some construction and we have what's called ITMs or interactive teller machines. It's actually <laughs> pretty sweet. As, yeah. as opposed right. to an ATM, which right, right, is an right. automatic teller machine. And you actually press the screen and you speak to a person and they tell you exactly what you're supposed to do. Very simple. Is this person in a call center with a screen in front of them as well? No. Okay. They are in a banking center somewhere. Mm-hmm. You know, we have some that are here local, um, but some of them are at our headquarters. But um, <laughs> during the whole COVID situation, we had to shut down our lobby and we couldn't have people coming in and blah, blah, blah. So it was kind of fortuitous for us because we had extended hours on these ITMs and people would be able to go out and use them. And I remember having to go out for something and this customer, like as I'm walking outside, sees me, knows me. We've spoken plenty of times Super nice back and forth. He just puts his head out the window and goes, what the fuck? And I go, who are you talking to? He's like, you, I hate this fucking machine. I'm like, why? He goes, I've been sitting here for 20 minutes. I go, did you touch the screen? What? (laughs) It's like, did you touch the screen? He's like, where would I touch the fucking screen? I'm walking up as I'm having this conversation. I go right there where it says touch screen to begin. <laughs> yeah. He goes, I, uh, I just literally touch it while we're having this conversation within three minutes. Hi, I'm so-and-so. How can I help you? I'm just looking at him. I'm like, That's what it. the fuck <laughs> is wrong with you? 
You know what yeah. I mean? And therein lies the essence of people when they are met with minor inconveniences oh, and is. how they treat people that they don't need to treat well. Can I, can, I, can I tell you what's so funny about that story? Please do. He said he was waiting there for 20 minutes. Yeah. How much time do you have to be angry in a parked car for 20 minutes? You know what? And here's the other situation. They'll look at and they'll look inside because our window's still there. Our, the blinds are drawn. We're not on those machines. And they'll honk and go, I'm here. I go, <laughs> did you touch the screen? No. 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 <laughs> we didn't. We didn't. Spoiler alert. No, they didn't. I, I, don't, yes. I, don't, I don't have, I, I can't tolerate anything for more than 20 seconds. Right. So, so I just I can't go, be, well, I can't know, be here's, minutes, uh, here's so. also the thing. I, he said he'd been there for 20 minutes. I'm sure if I looked at the camera, he'd been there for five. I, right, you're, right. you're right. He you're probably right. exaggerated. Yeah, yeah, it's that's always true. trying to that's exaggerate true. and get me to apologize for his stupid ass. And that's just not the situation. All you got to do is, you know, be patient, be a mm-hmm. rational thinking human being, and you'll get through this. But most people that walk through the door, I just want to go, how'd you get this far? In life. <laughs> yeah. This can't be the most challenging shit that's ever come across your path. How did you get right here? But it's like it's like the minor inconveniences. Like Louis C.K. has that joke where he said he was on a plane and it was right when like Wi-Fi on a plane was like a <laughs> new thing. So it. he's like the guy sitting next to him. Like they, they go, hey, guys, if you want, we got free Wi-Fi. You can log in, blah, blah, blah. He said, so the guy is like, fine. He logs in. The Wi-Fi goes down later for like five minutes. But as it goes down, the guy's like, what the fuck? Like he's like pissed off. And he's like, you're mad at something that you didn't even know existed yeah. until like <laughs> five minutes ago. Right. He's like, and now it just ruined your whole trip. You're, yep. you're sitting you're sitting in a chair in the sky. In the sky <laughs> complaining about you can't check your fucking Facebook or whatever. My, my favorite is just, you know, when they come in and say, oh, well, I'll, I'll change banks. See ya. <laughs> I'll get you a check right now, big guy. I uh, know I I love the yeah. uh I love the um the I'm sorry, but we're we're all just like random people that try to take on corporate America by saying, yeah. "I'll go somewhere else." I know you will. You're just go to another corporate store, but it it's 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 going to be more of Yeah, it's that. you're you're just going to get that. Like you're not you're not Doing the revolution, or yeah. that you think like you're that. not, yeah. you're not sticking it to the man by. <laughs> I was taking I, your business elsewhere. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I just want to get this out, but uh, I'll never forget. I was married to uh, a a woman that we did not get along, so we're no longer married. And um, she one time said, uh, "I want to start going to uh, downtown markets and buy bananas." Uh, because I want to support local businesses. I'm like, you bought a fucking BMW. You do not support <laughs> local businesses. But you don't, she, you don't with the bananas, the, maybe. Yeah, but, uh, but her whole thing a was like, of- she, uh, sorry, she wanted to support American business. I don't oh, think okay, she said okay, local, okay. but I was yeah. like, you bought a fuck. And, and no offense, a, a BMW is a great car. Yeah. But what, like, but like can't the- you just like support the american auto industry if that's really if that's what you want to do to support the economy but yeah. see you say that support the american thing but like people don't realize like toyotas actually have a huge plant in texas building toyotas fair enough but they're that's technically true. not american You're right oh. but they employ a huge amount of american people is bmw i have no idea <laughs> <laughs> I drive but toyota, toyota does so, so yeah. bmw 2011 <laughs> yeah. let me get my maybe. shit out <laughs> maybe but yeah, yeah. I, I guess uh, I just had to get that out. Yeah. I mean, people in I mean, general like to just complain. We work yep. for a family-owned company, and I say that in quotations. Right. And sometimes they're, you know, just, they very corporate. Yeah, yeah. And it's kind of like I'm surprised how corporate they are. Sometimes yeah. I'm like, why are we doing this? Do people listen to this podcast? Because I don't want to insult the people. I mean, people, I hope they listen. But <laughs> no, you know I mean, what? I don't want to talk hold too on. much about my job. Hold on, like hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want to. You know, I, I'd like to answer that with one of my favorite, uh, favorite quotes from Tommy Lee Jones. He says, people are stupid. They're, they're dumb, panicking animals. But a person is smart. One singular person. So somebody listening to this is probably going, yeah, that's true. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I think individuals, when they're not with a group, you know what I mean? Social media is the perfect example of this. You know yeah. what I mean? People on social media, oh my God. 
everybody Sometimes jumps on like, the bandwagon of whatever it is. Access. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that, no, but that, that's, that's funny. By the way, when you said Tommy Lee Jones for a second, I thought you meant Motley Crue, but it's the actor, right? Yeah. I yeah. get them confused. Tommy Lee, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because Tommy Lee Jones. It's in uh, it's in uh, Men in Black when he's talking about how the alien get battle cruises above. And yeah. We got to tell everybody. He's like, no, no, no. We don't tell everybody because they'll freak out. It, everybody would start rioting, mass hysteria. A person is smart and capable of rational thought, but you know, people in general. That's the first Men in Black, isn't it? Yes, I think it is the first one. Yeah. Mm, I need that. No, I get very is. I get very weird. I buy social media, and I'm like, I mean, I'm you know, I'm. 43 and i remember the internet when you had to when it was dial, dial up, up and you had to like but, when your but, computer would sing to you to get oh. on <laughs> i'll give an example of that that we were talking about though speaking of you know i'm in a group chat with a bunch of really good friends of mine and sometimes they can be a little quick quick decision making i guess oh my god there yeah. was this uh this filter on instagram I'm not going to get political, but I'll just say you what it political. is. It was the I, one I that politics. says it was the one that just said mute white people on Instagram, and Jeez. a bunch of my friends saw it and said, "F Instagram! I'll never use their services ever again. This is so stupid." And I thought to myself, "There's no way Instagram would allow something like this that would just blanket say, you know, say something like this." Mm. So I researched it and. <laughs> That's it's, your mistake. You research it. No, he one, didn't make a mistake. No, I know. <laughs> it's one individual who contributes to a third-party company that's contributed over 500 filters over their little career that are very geared towards hot-button issues, right? And so this person is the one who submitted it. And since they submit so many, they didn't double check it. They didn't look. They just put it live to Instagram. People started freaking out. Instagram saw it and got rid of it. Yeah. But my friends who are F Instagram, I'm going to go delete that crap right now. I message them all this information. I say, look at this. This is one person. This is the individual. That's their handle. They're the ones who contribute to Giphy. And Giphy then contributes to Instagram. So if you have Instagram, you don't have Giphy downloaded. You won't even see it. So this person who works for this company, which contributes to this one, is how you got there. These are the actions of one individual, not the entire company, Instagram as a whole. So are you still deleting Instagram? <laughs> yeah. Crickets. Yeah. I'm like, guys, so here we are, ready to jump on the F Instagram. I'll never speak to them again. And if somebody asked you about it, you'd say, well, because they said, and you're wrong. Yeah. It's it's the whole cancel culture that we talked right. about before. Is the whole jump on the bandwagon? If somebody does it, does something that you don't like, you post about it. Other people are like, "Yeah, okay, that's yeah. bad," and then they post, yeah. and then everybody just jumps on it, and they just it's yeah. like this mob mentality on social media. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, like now you don't have a TV show anymore. I love watching people get so worked up about that stuff, though. Because like uh, Sheen had uh, not checked all their products, and they had like a. Uh, Indian peace swastika necklace that they were selling oh, yeah, on their I website. Heard about that. Yeah. And I guess they, you know, it got through, they didn't check it. And then when they saw it, they're just like, oh, that's bad. We can't have that. But everyone's just so mad. I'm just like, bro, they yeah. took it down. You allowed yeah. this. You're the worst they company of all time. Hundreds of thousands like, of products. Right. It, like, how can you check every single one? Like, it, things just, happen. We're all human. And it's like, oh, I didn't know you I can't lived make in a society a mistake with nowadays. so many oh, perfect God. people. That's the problem is like you can't make a mistake nowadays and it kind of sucks because it's like, like we talked about with James Gunn, they fired him over tweets that he made seven years ago when he was a disc jockey doing like, yeah, they weren't funny jokes, but they were also jokes and he said he was just trying to be like one of those, you know, Shock, shocking shocks. guys. Yeah. And, and do that. And he said like, I regret it, but that was seven years ago or even more than that. It might have been well, I don't know. Whenever like Twitter started up, and like, yeah. he's posted that, and he's like, "It's different now." But like, are people not allowed to grow or make mistakes? No, you or, can't. You, know you can't I mean? nowadays. You have to be but perfect. A lot of that is tomb. just like Twitter and and like entertainment, because obviously yeah. nobody's checking up on their neighbors and being like, "Oh, my neighbor did this today." Like, cancel them, and like, no one's going to care at that point. But if you're a celebrity or you're out there or whatever, they or you just say one little thing wrong on Facebook or Twitter, they'll capture that put it back on like social media with a hashtag cancel this and that's it. I would cancel my neighbors. They hit my mailbox. <laughs> are we, are we, <laughs> I mean, that's, yeah, but I mean, have we finally reached a point and I think COVID, yeah, I'm bringing that up. Um, but celebrities just don't matter. 
Here's the thing. I I'm at the point where I it's not that celebrities don't matter. It's that people right now there's like this whole thing of like cancel Hollywood, right? Like people are getting upset because they're saying You know, celebrities get together, they sing Imagine, and everyone's like up in arms and saying like, what the fuck? You guys are rich and you guys are telling us to live like... Yeah, I'm I'm okay with canceling Hollywood. Hollywood sucks. But that's the thing where I'm like, I understand... Again, I don't really care about the outrage, like in the sense of, I don't give a shit. Like, it's stupid that they did it, but I'm not going to be like, fuck Gal Gadot. Like, I'm not watching anything else. Fuck Wonder Woman, too. Like, who gives a shit? She sang a song. Yeah, I never never saw Wonder Woman. I don't care to watch (laughs) Wonder Woman. But actually, that's bad. You know, I I, I agree. It's but 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 the problem with that is I still like movies and Mm -hmm. I still do like actors. You don't have to agree with everything an actor says to like them. I don't agree with everything Chris Pratt does. No, nope. I'm not a hunter. I, he does a lot of hunting, but again, I don't care. That's his thing. Like that's what he does and stuff. You know what I mean? Question. Yeah. Raise my hand in the back of the classroom. Yeah. Go ahead. So uh, this is like the one example I have to come up with though. Uh, and, and it's a unfair question in my opinion, Right. but Michael Jackson. Yeah. Some people, we're forced to make a decision whether or not to like him anymore. Actually, Bill Cosby's even. I used Bill to love. I used to love though. fucking Bill Cosby, man. Yeah. Bill Cosby himself was the greatest fucking comedy movie ever. Right, and I and I swore by it. But when I found out that Cosby, that's different, though. I think. But 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 my question is, do you actually have to say? Can you separate okay. the artists from yeah, the Yeah, because some people – people did it with Jackson. I, yeah, and I – for me personally, I think some instances I can, some I can't. Bill Cosby, it's hard – like I don't know if I can really watch his stuff now, but that's just me personally. Some people can – differentiate the art from the artist and i think sometimes like there are like there's been a lot of accusations against kirk douglas and stuff like that but i've still watched kirk douglas movies uh woody allen i still watch woody allen films you know you know what i mean that's uh, a little different that, that, too. that's a that's a woody allen married his daughter right but that wasn't technically illegal it just wasn't right morally i think it was stepdaughter right would stepdaughter you, okay. would you marry but, your stepdaughter? adopted daughter there's a big adopted daughter okay. so would you marry your stepdaughter no I, sure? My adopted daughter, I think that's just really weird. That's really yeah, weird. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not illegal, but it's really fucking. We're, we're weird. not talking about we're not talking about legal right now. No, morally, I think I think there's certain aspects like Kevin Spacey, one of my favorite actors for a long time. It kind of sucked hearing some of the accusations against him. And yeah, and but it, it is kind of. I mean, I. I I, I'm actually, but he's gone. He's not doing really anything right now, right? I still enjoy Seven. I still enjoy Usual Suspects. Uh, it's still like it has. I have that connotation where I'm like, yeah, I know that he did some bad things, but I think that's different than when people are trying to cancel people over a mistake, which is a really minor thing, compared to Michael Jackson or Bill Cosby, which I think are way more drastic. <laughs> yeah, that's way more drastic than just being like, I, you know, I'm whatever like i'm a hunter like chris pratt was like a hunter and people were like oh my god he's hunting and blah blah blah. and it's like yeah but also like he's eating the food he like he killed a sheep or something that he raised or whatever i i've never heard of this about chris pratt that was like a thing that people were he's pissed a farmer. about he's a yeah. farmer but the thing is it's like yeah but a lot of people eat cows and stuff yeah, so he also be- he also like butchered it and used every piece of it right. and you know had a it's not trophy hunting like i don't so like wait, the so jimmy wait. john's guy because he's a trophy hunter and fucking like i'm not into that shit so wait 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 people that eat meat i assume they eat me i don't know I, oh no no because but on twitter because, they were because it would it would be vegans that would be attacking him or not necessarily right? i mean yeah i guess i'm sorry you can't you can't eat meat and attack someone for eating meat I'm not saying they did. I'm just saying he got some Twitter backlash or Instagram. I think he posted on Instagram and people were upset that he killed a sheep and he said he killed a sheep. My, or my, my wife one time posted a picture of herself uh, uh, with a pig that she killed. Right. Um, and it was like one of those like, you know, theme park hunting places where like you, you're guaranteed to kill. Right. But she 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 shot a she shot a pig and, you know, right at home. Got, got a got got. Yeah. Yeah. Got, got a got a picture with. The, the kill mm. and people went oh 100 she, she posted on facebook and they went boo 
And like, that's, that's tasteless. I'm like, you ate chicken for lunch. Right. Like, which like, I think is, it's you, you, ate, you ate a burger for dinner. It's like, I'm against trophy hunting. I'm not against hunting. Trophy hunting is bullshit. Trophy hunting I don't like yeah. because it's you're hunting animals that are a lot of times endangered. And a lot of times, especially in Africa, the 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 governments hand out these licenses. Yes. And but it, it doesn't go to where they say it's going. Yeah, they found multiple times that it just goes into their pockets. So not only are you taking animals off of the Serengeti and stuff that are endangered, but the money isn't going to the villages that they say no, it's going and, to. And, and, and chances are you're going into a, a, a theme park where you like, Hey, if you pay $20,000 or whatever the fucking number is, yeah. you're going to get a, you're going to get a guaranteed kill. That's right. not what hunting is. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's like, and you know what, if you're dumb enough to spend that money to shoot a cow or something like that, you know, fuck it. Right. Spend twenty thousand dollars. I don't. I don't give a. I don't give a shit about that. Right. But yeah, I agree. Like trophy hunting, just to just to kill a, a big animal and get your picture taken. But yeah, a fucking just, boar, just for me. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I mean, it's like. But that's the backlash that you get with certain things because yeah. nowadays it's like if you don't have the same ideals and the same like feelings and everything as other people, like you're just wrong. Like that's wow. how it is on the internet. It's like if you don't think like me. You're wrong. We're going to get you canceled. Here's one I'll, I'll bring up real quick is Roseanne. Roseanne said something that was racist, taken as racist about Valerie Jarrett or whatever, right? Well, she what like, she, she compared her to, uh, she said, Valerie Jarrett is like something, uh, uh, something merged with Planet of the Apes or whatever because she said she looked like one of the characters from Planet of the Apes. Valerie Jarrett is, is black, so who who is she? She's a politician. She, yeah, she is uh, just a certain politician, and and Roseanne made that comment or whatever on Twitter and posted it as like kind of like a joke, I guess, and and did that. I don't condone that joke. I don't think it's a good joke. I don't think she should have said it. No one thinks she should have said it. She shouldn't have said it. But like that moment right then, like ended her career, and she apologized for it. Like. Pretty soon after, apologized for it, said she didn't mean it that way. She didn't even realize. And I, I'll give her, like, here's the thing. It's like, I like comedians, and Roseanne is a comedian, and she's one of the comedians that constantly goes pretty far. She sang the national anthem at a baseball game, spit. Yeah, during Gra the national Gra anthem, she, like, was She grabbed herself from the pussy? She, yeah, she grabbed her crotch, <laughs> spit on the ground during the national anthem. People were pissed. Yet she comes back from that. She came back from – she posed as Hitler in a <laughs> magazine and cooked little Jewish gingerbread men. I think, if anything, that should have been maybe the time. Yeah. But the thing is, then this comes out, and it's because of social media, that's the one that ends it. And it's boom, she's done. And it doesn't matter what she does. She's just canceled. And it kind of sucks because she even said, I understand – the, the point is that a lot of the actors that, that worked with her on Roseanne didn't really come to her defense because they still wanted their job. And she was like, I re she's like, it sucks that I lost a lot of friends from the writers and from the actors because of this one mistake. And I feel really bad about it. And I tried to apologize, but ABC will not renew my contract. They fired me and I don't get my show anymore. The show that I created, like she created Roseanne, like, or at least part, like, you know, she wrote it and everything like that. And when you watch Roseanne, her whole thing was she wanted to make a show when it came back to ABC that showed sides of both conservatives and liberals. And that's what she was trying to make a thing. And one episode is literally her like sticking up for like a Muslim fa family that people were picking on saying that they were terrorists yeah. and stuff like that. Because I personally don't think she is really racist. I think she made a joke because she constantly goes too far. And this is the one that because of social media, done. So it's like it's I think it's a scary time, especially for comedians or anybody like you got to just be careful what you say. If you say the wrong thing, like you, you will get canceled if, if enough people are like, fuck that, I'm done. Well, we, we used to live in a in a period of time where um, I, I have to go to, to this one interview that Jon Stewart did with Tucker Carlson. Yeah. And Jon Stewart had to say to Fox News and Tucker Carlson, like, if you guys are looking at my show 
as uh, uh, par- an actual I, news source. I, I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing he here. Said, My show is know. brought on by puppets. Yes. Yeah. 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 Like, 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 I, I follow up a show with puppets making prank phone calls. Yeah. And and we've reached a moment where I mean, I, I dude, I remember the Onion as a website, and uh, and it was a fake newspaper, mm-hmm. and and it was hilarious right. because it wasn't the news. And now the Onion. It's more it's credible. Like it's not even almost. It's almost yeah. more credible. I mean, like I've, I've I've seen people share Onion articles. Like I can't believe this shit. I was like, it's the Onion. Yeah, the yeah, Onion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the Onion. How do you not know what the Onion is? Yeah, people show that. It's stuff. it's the fucking Onion. You're pissed off about a joke website, but it's like Jack said: is people don't want to do research either. They right. see something that that formulates to their idea on both sides, left and right. They see something that formulates to their idea, and they go, "This is bad." And it's like, but do you, is that true? Right. Just because it like it feeds to your mentality, yeah. and you want to believe it, doesn't mean it's true. Like, just do a little bit of research before you repost it. There's a there, there's there's another one that I want to touch on because we talked yeah. about the whole big game hunting thing. Yeah, yeah. And it's relevant because of both both of those points. First of all, I think big game hunting for the sake of big game hunting is mm-hmm. disgusting. Yeah. But there was a rich executive or something that posted a picture of ha- him having killed a black giraffe. Oh, I saw that picture. This? I remember that. So everybody was losing their mind about that. First yeah. of all, I'm not a big fan of it, but I I had a friend of mine who posted that and was like, have you guys read this? So this black giraffe, yes, it was very rare, but it was sterile. It couldn't mate with other females mm. in the uh, in its herd, if you will. And it was extremely aggressive and territorial. And any male giraffes that were born, it would kill them because right. it didn't want them to take its place. So other giraffes weren't able to grow up and mate and continue growing them. Right. And this giraffe was killing them and being very aggressive. So it was okay because that guy, giraffe was a dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's, it, it was okay because, well, not you know, it, it's your interpretation of yeah, it. That's yeah, how, that's how I hear but it. people are right. looking at it like he went out to find this rare species and kill it just because. And really, there was more to the story. And now... Does it make it okay? That's up to you. Right. That's, that's up to interpretation your interpretation. Or whatever, yeah. But this guy's paid God knows how much money. Do I know where it went? No. Does the article say it goes to the reserve and right. to furthering all these species? Yes. Right. I don't know if that's true or not. Right. But at the same time, you can't just dismiss that part of it, that this was a an animal that was... I will say from, uh, because you were talking about stupid people before too. Yeah. I don't know if you ever saw the meme with Steven Spielberg no. I was about kneeling to go there. next to a triceratops. And people were pissed <laughs> off about it. And P- from Jurassic I Park, it was like a still. This. And it's people say, look at this monster who killed this rare and danger, uh, endangered uh. animal. And then it even says like, the animal, it says triceratops or something like that. And people literally jump on the bandwagon and just go, that's horrible. He should be like, get was, him out of here. Screw him. Who is this? Wait, uh, no, was that, was that really true? I mean, was that really a, uh, did people really get that pissed off or was that the I joke? Think, no, I, no, I think it was an pissed. actual I think it's off. probably a mix of both. Yeah, it might be like because a little bit me, of both. Because me, I would love to comment on them and be like, you monster. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure like some people do it jokingly, but I, I really truly believe that some of those people were probably like, this is like horrible like i you know how many pictures i see on facebook people are like here's like somebody posted a picture of a fucking made-up animal it but it looked cute it looked like kind of like a platypus it was a fake fucking animal but it's like this little cute thing it had big eyes and somebody's holding it and they go look at this cute and they made up a fucking animal and yeah. they go it's so cute it, like they're one of the rarest species in the world and people were posting and going like oh my god like i i would love to have like one of these as a pet and stuff i'm like you can get one just buy that fucking statue <laughs> of whoever made it it's a fucking statue and i'm like i can't believe like people think that that's real like there's just some things like or the smallest hummingbird like somebody's like look at the smallest hummingbird and it's like the size of like your nail i'm like it's not real that's not real like it's not like that they're, they're showing i'm like guys stop sharing just everything my favorite is this one i posted oh, yeah. it the other day I saw that oh shit it says <laughs> remember this guy 
In 2013, he made a deal with Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi to patent a cure for something called CV-1-9, meant to look like COVID-19. <laughs> yeah. It goes, how did he know what was coming? What are they hiding? Also, no, none of this. I'm absolutely lying. This is a stock photo. I made this in five minutes. I even aged it up to make it look like it had passed around a lot. Stop getting your news from memes. Good Lord. <laughs> yeah. who, was, who was the picture of? Just some random guy. Oh, just, just like just a, a random it's, dude. It's not even like just some dude. It's not anybody of any merit whatsoever. Without, but, but without this part right here, yeah, people are going to be like the government man. I know it. Joe yeah. Biden is the worst. I, without, uh, well, really quick, without naming names, but I'm going to say because Christina knows this person and oh Jack God. actually knows this person now, but I don't want to say names. I know exactly who you're talking about. Already. Yeah, just uh, yeah. Oh, There's a person God. on our friends list that literally one time shared a meme. It was completely wrong, not 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 factual at all. Somebody pointed it out, proved them wrong by sharing another couple links, was saying this is completely wrong. Not me, because I don't even like to get into that I, with him. I have been saving up so many like, Just oh wow, stuff. anti-masker <laughs> memes. Like, oh wow, real American, huge PP. Oh my like, god, I've yeah. been saving all these memes for the next time I see him post something stupid. Because I'm just like, he does it every single Shut day. The fuck up, you're so stupid. But the one meme he shared that was completely wrong, and people proved him wrong he said oh well i still am glad i shared it because even wrong information is good information because it gives you a different perspective False. and i was like that is False. not how facts work no <laughs> information where it's like two plus two equals four yes but it doesn't equal five six seven eight nine ten and let's get that perspective does 11 12 13, like there's so many things it could not be can, can, so right. why can would you, you share that you repeat that elephant? real quick can you repeat what? that what you just said yeah that he likes to share information even if it's wrong information because it gives you a different perspective there might have been a little bit more to it than that but alternative that was facts type of i guess, no, not, not even, even alternative that facts. it's not even alternative Just, it's not, basically you know it's that stupid saying from the office you, go, oh, you want me to spin you in your chair why would I want you to do that? Oh, well, Michael says a spinning brain is a working brain. Yeah, it's so just let me come spin you. I, no, just, that's like, not true. That but like by awful. that by that logic, it's like telling uh, a child, yeah, this snake is not poisonous. It won't kill you. And then the snake biting somebody and dying. Well, we all learned something here. Yeah, like well, the that's kid's what I'm dead. Sharing wrong information sh should never be a good thing. If you know it's wrong, yeah. you should not be sh passing it around. I, 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 I had a conversation with someone that is very near and dear to my heart. And um, it was I, me. I, I, had, I, had to, I had to call this person out <laughs> on saying something that was so stupid right. because, uh, and I really wish Trish was still on the line. Can we call her? Again? <laughs> yes. um, but no, because like, it's like, it, it, like we, we have a language and, and specifically for us, I mean, I'm not, I, I'm not bilingual, so I right. only know English. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm still struggling with that. Yeah. It's hard. Um, a hard language actually but <laughs> but yeah but, but we, we have the english language in the in every word you say is defined yeah and it's agreed that it is defined uh and i was talking with this person that uh claimed that southern culture is her in her dna yeah and i went don't you ever say that a culture is in your dna that's right. not what dna is Right. DNA is factual. It, it's not like you you don't you don't just have something. You don't you just like wake up in the south and like True. you're a racist True. and that's in your DNA. It's, yeah. Does that make sense? DNA is genetic composition. Yes. I mean, you're as a person. Culture yeah. is different. Culture your is opinion, like what your yeah. culture yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. You, 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 yeah. you were taught this. Yeah. You you don't have a choice in DNA. You do have a choice in your beliefs and your culture and how you're brought up. Yes. I mean, oh, that's that. Uh, it's a but or, or you're just or you're just brought up that way. It's not in your D and fucking A. Uh, and then he went like Jurassic and, Park. And, and then he, yes, like Jurassic Park. <laughs> we're all Bingo. mixed up. We're all mixed up. DNA. <laughs> and, then, and then he went on to say, uh, you know, um, challenge me with a question of if I were to walk down the street and let's say, uh, let's say you and I didn't know each other. And mm. honestly, I don't, I don't know the answer to this question. Yeah. But if I were to walk down the street and I would see you, it's my natural behavior to assume that you are right-handed. And I went, no, that's not my natural behavior. I said, 
based on knowledge, right? That you've learned. I would I would assume that you're right handed, and because I, and statistically, I, and, yes, that's what most and, and people. I, and are. I was asked, and I was asked like, if you were if 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 you were to ask me if I saw you walking down the street, are you right handed or left handed? And 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 I and I was like, well, I don't know. I don't know. Wasn't an answer. Like I couldn't say. I had to say yes or no like to this to, question. Right. And I was like, well, then my answer would be yes, based on. She went natural and went no it's not natural <laughs> yeah. it's not it's not a natural thing that i that i you come I, out of the yeah. womb and you're like so wait, i are, know who's are left-handed right. people's by that unnatural yes left-handed people should be wiped out because my parents <laughs> <laughs> no but it's just no it's but a statistic. matter of statistics you can't yeah, say it's natural knowledge. it's not it's not that it's, it's you smart. have even if you want to call you you may not be calling it statistics but the fact that you've met a certain amount of people you may not know that it is statistics but it is yeah that you've met a hundred people and out of those hundred people 80 of them are right-handed then that's statistics, whether you want to call it that or not. So you can't say that's not natural. No. You, the process of your brain is natural, but what it's using is something very mathematical. Mm-hmm. And, and so. you have to keep going with it because if you just ask one person, they're like, I'm left-handed. You can't be like 100% of people. Yep. Like you got to get well, Naturally, the next naturally, person I speak to is going to be left-handed left too. All hey, right. Let's, catch this. Here. Let's wrap this up because we're already past 8 o'clock. I'm so, so glad I got to come over and go, play this man. Game. <laughs> Are you leaving? I wanted to play that game. Let's I'm play that game. Well, you know, yeah. let's let's take you a five minute person break. Coming at eight. No. Taking a fiver. Uh, game time. Do we? All right, so let's take a five minute break, and then we'll come <laughs> right back and we'll play a game. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's do it. This has been a Seven Lamb production.